They can help us justify. The officials led by the Minister for Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Tom Butime, appeared before the Parliamentary Committee for Scrutiny of the sector's proposed budget for the 2023-24 financial year. Both the MPs and the ministry officials were discomforted by the budget cast by more than half from 195 billion shillings in the 2022-23 financial year to 89 billion in the next financial year. How do you expect the tourism sector to grow? How do you expect tourism in the country to grow? And the minister, the answer he gave is we were ranked on CNN and we expect people to, to know more about Uganda and come. So this, this is literally nothing. If you look at the wage and the fixed costs alone, go to around 115 billion. That is already a deficit of around 26 billion. So if, if, even without giving you a lot of detail, we cannot function. So this is how serious the situation is. Uganda Wildlife Education Center, which is one of the agencies under the Ministry of Tourism, has been allocated 1.9 billion shillings in the next financial year. However, for the animal feeds, they require 2.5 billion shillings, and for the salaries of the staff members, they need 3.7 billion shillings. What this means is that they will not be in position to pay the salaries and feed the animals in the next financial year if the budget remains as it is. The situation is similar with the Uganda Wildlife Authority and the Uganda Tourism Board. Budget ceiling of uh, 4.3 is less than the current salary ceiling wage that we have. So we will not even have enough to pay salaries forget about the other overhead cost. We will not be able to do any work and we are likely to release a lot more poachers from our own staff that we might have to lay off because we have no salary for them. The budget for Uganda Wildlife Authority is 21 billion shillings down from 106 billion in the current financial year. I think that finance did not concentrate well when it came to this particular sector either it is a computer error or something like that because the figures don't balance in any way there was a pro from committee members who argued that the budget cuts dampen hopes for a better performance of the sector that was battered by the covid 19 pandemic for two years and is still feeling the effects it is rather appalling i wonder where government is putting all this money uh, people are dying, people do not have money, there is no employment. Where is all this money going? You see even the agriculture sector has been cut in the fisheries sector. There is no activity whatsoever. But I think this time there is an error in the equation. Because URA says we have overcorrected, that we have hit the target. If URA has hit the target and they have overcorrected, why is finance short of money? It's too bad to see that countries like Rwanda, like Tanzania, who have actually small, small tourism products that achieve a lot out of this, and our country that is rich, even Churchill named it the pearl of Africa, that doesn't inject anything in, in tourism. The industry was already promising a better performance with visits to the national parks having picked up past the pre-COVID period with 360,000 visitors received in 2021-22, up from 320,000 in 2019-20. Given the pressure, the members of the committee intend to exert to have the budget of the Ministry of Tourism revised upwards. This could have an overall effect on the 49.9 trillion shillings budget presented in the budget framework paper for the next financial year. Jackson Onyango, reporting for NTV at Parliament.